What is EKG? Who cares? What does it do? And why is the IO Smart Sleep the best at-home EKG product available on the market today? So what is an EKG? Well, essentially it is a way to gauge the electrical activity of your heart. And they do that, you've probably seen it in movies and maybe have had it done to yourself. They place the electrodes on you. Uh, usually there's 10 to 12 of them for at-home products is a little bit less and that's how it works. Why is it important? Well, the things that it can gauge is potential heart problems, arrhythmias, and other heart-related issues, diseases, and it could be potentially a life-saving tool. So it could be like a pre-detector of potential issues that could arise. You know, obviously everybody knows about it, but the at-home EKG applications are becoming much more widely available and more popular. You know, originally you would think this is only for people who might have a history of heart conditions. Maybe they're at an age where certain heart conditions might be present and monitoring your EKG daily or semi-daily, weekly, maybe that's a good idea. But there's so much more to EKG than meets the eye because a lot of it is just very basic at this moment. So, because if you think about what products that there are out there, there's, pr mm, there's three pretty much that come to mind if you, you know, from a popular, probably two, from the most popular standpoint devices that people have heard about, Apple and AliveCore. And both of these products, I actually do like AliveCore, I think the, com the company is Cardia Mo Mobile. And uh, their products are actually really nice, you know, and uh, a lot of people have seen them. It's just pretty much a little strip. You hold it, I'm sure you can look it up. And then Apple's obviously quite simple. And the only thing that they're kind of looking at is kind of a, a surface level approach. Right, the Apple one especially because the only thing that it detects when you record it is an arrhythmia, right? And uh, a lot of times I think you can usually feel those out yourself. I just think the the feel, the space, and the products are just being underutilized, right? The, a lot of them are just saying, "Hey, we have EKG. Here you go." Um, but you know, there's 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 more to it than that. There's a lot of things that you should look at. When considering one, with that being said, let's take a look at the IO Smart Sleeve and why it is the best if you're looking from an overall standpoint of an EKG device. You know, when you look at any consumer product that is technical and had an origination from kind of a medical field, right? Like an EKG, something so complex, you're trying to do several things to consumerize it, so to speak. I don't know if that's a word, but you're doing a few things. The first one is ease of use. It needs to be easy to use, comfortable, and you just need to visually be able to see everything. The user experience has to be easy. And uh, yeah, let's do actually, I'm wearing one here. You can see, so let's do, I'm gonna do a quick recording of it just so we can see. And I don't know if it's gonna work with the camera. Okay, so here we are at the home screen. Just connect to the device. I'm gonna to go to the EKG screen. Uh, and here it is. Let me press start. It's gonna take a little time. And there goes the EKG, right? You gotta, I'm trying to sit still here to kind of stabilize it. Because you'll see if I start moving, you see? It's, uh, it's kind of going erratic. The EKG is still there. Um, and just to maybe show, I don't know if that even going to be visible on the camera, but you know, that that's where we are. So it's pretty simple. I have the sleeve. I have an attached electrode on here. Like uh, many other products use electrodes. I also wanted it to look nice, you know, visually appealing. Like this looks better than a lot of the EKG products out there, you know? It's important, you know, little things, little things like these, just having something visually that's nice uh, was a big part of the, the reason that, you know, it, it looks like this today. So this leads to the second reason why it's the best remote patient monitoring. So 
an EKG by itself, probably for the for the for the everyday consumer, probably doesn't do much, right? To just see lines, uh, it doesn't give us a whole lot of information. So with the remote patient monitoring, once I'm on the app and I hit stop on the EKG, it's going to automatically save. Okay, so it's going to save inside the phone, and it's also going to send that data via cloud to our online portal. So the online portal is the portion of our website where you can go and you can access your own data in further detail. So the good thing about this is actually that it's going to save you a lot of time and doctor's visits, right? If you can have act if they can have access to your information as opposed to, you know, every time you feel something to come in and take an EKG and then they tell you everything's fine, kind of annoying. This way, you can record every day right and i don't know what the your payment plan is with this person but you know simplistically if you're recording every day your doctor can have a look at all this and say hey uh you know monday tuesday was good wednesday you know maybe they'll be able to find something so that's another big reason it's just part of it's part of the ease of use solution that we provide and the third reason is something that i alluded to initially which is what the heck do we know about an ekg you know, if you're well versed in it, of course, you can take some information away from it. But if you're an idiot like me and you're looking at it and say, well, I don't know what any of this means. Well, that's why we have included an HRV feature, which is heart rate variability. We have discussed HRV at length in our other videos, and it's a very important biomarker regarding your stress levels and how you cope with different environmental factors throughout the day. So the unique part about our solution is that the IO Smart Sleeve is the only product in the world that takes an HRV using an EKG. So maybe that sounds confusing. To break it down, heart rate variability is looking at the time difference between each successive heartbeat. So our heart rates are not a metronome, right? It doesn't dum dum boom it's not the same every time there's variation which is a good thing higher the variation the better the so the heart rate variability needs input data meaning it needs a signal in order to make this calculation to to determine this time difference there's two ways to do this every other device that you see uh, fitbit apple whoop aura they use an optical sensor the optical sensor is your standard BPM sensor that is used by most products. And that's the, you know, that's the, if you turn it around, if you have one, that's the green and red light that's always flashing. That's an optical sensor, uh, also called photoplus thermography. Now, the other way is using an EKG. And EKG is what we've been talking about for a few minutes now. Here is the big difference. Optical sensors operate at around 50 samples per second whereas an EKG operates at 350. Why is that important? Well, the sample rate is how many data points there are per second, right? This is the amount of time that that sensor is collecting data. So for optical sensor, that's 50. For an EKG, that's 350. So you're getting much more data, which is much more accurate. And the IOSleeve is the only one in the world that uses an ECG to acquire an HRV. I hope that makes sense. And for our app, <clears throat> there is a hell of a lot of applications for it. I'll do another screen grab for you. Okay, so here I am back at the EKG screen. And you can see here, there's a heart rate and then the blue box is the heart rate variability. And you see it changing second to second. Once I hit the HRV, it's gonna give me, you know, we go into depth on this in a lot of different videos. So here, it's going to show me a bunch of different events as we call them. So right now, what am I doing? Um, not after alcohol. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go other. And we'll just put filming video. We go done. Then you hit start and you hit OK. And uh, so this is going to take about two minutes. So while that's going on, I'll talk about the final point and then we'll go back to the HRV test. The final point is price so these are the things that we're looking at you need to build a device that's easy to use and one that's affordable to people right ekg is 
is complex and not everybody has the funds to dish out on an Apple Watch, right? And we, we had these two things in mind. We wanted to make something easy to use and that could be used by the most people, right? So a big part of that was easy app, comfortable, comfortable, right? I'm wearing it and you can't even tell. I can't even tell. And also the price point, which was really important. No monthly fees. I there's I mean, I have so many so much rage when it comes to monthly fees. It's just everything, even things that don't require to be monthly. Everything is monthly fees now. So sorry, I'm angry, but it was it was a big part of our business to not do that, to to try to help. And because it's it's just annoying. It's simply simple as that. Okay, so we have our test is ending right away. Four, three, two, wanna line it up with a, so there it is. I'll still have it at the bottom. So mine's 3.4 right now, which is pretty good because I'm sweating like a pig. I thought it'd be a lot lower, but um, hey, that's not bad for now. So that's what you get. We go into further detail on the heart rate variability stuff, which is super interesting. So follow along. That's the end of this video. Hope everyone enjoyed it and follow along for other videos. Thank you.